Welcome to On Mac Development, conversations and tutorials on today's latest technology in Mac software, applications, programming, and development. You can access related resources, recommended reading, special offers, and more when you visit the On Mac Development Resource Center at informit.com slash macdevcenter. Hi, my name is Diane Daniel, and I'm here at the Voices That Matter iPhone Developers Conference. I'm here with Kevin Avila. Welcome, Kevin. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm an iPhone developer and Mac developer, and uh, been doing that for about 15 years now, and uh, been through the best and worst, and still here and <laughs> having a lot of fun now. So. Um, yeah, so I started, you know, a long time ago. Um, I say my conference, arguably, since MTV was cool. <laughs> so that was a real long time ago. Um, and yeah, I've been doing basically audio stuff uh, the whole time, um, and then and assisting developers, doing a lot of uh, developer tools, you know, th you know, kind of in the back channels the whole time. Um, and then uh, just recently got off a stint, my doing my time at Apple. So uh, helped with the iPhone. Mm -hmm. It was it was awesome. Yeah. Right? Like I think everyone should have the opportunity to work at Apple. At, you know at least once, <laughs> and it looks great on your resume yeah. for afterwards. Um, and yeah, and that pretty much you know really sums it up. And you have here a I am. Book? Yeah, I have a core audio book coming out, okay. uh, hopefully soon, and uh, hopefully that'll answer a lot of people's questions about audio. Well, and on that note, um, audio is something that doesn't get talked a lot, a lot about with regards to iPhone application development. Right. Thoughts on why that's important? Um, well, it's, I think audio is really important to any application you know, that needs it as much as a good user interface is, especially on iPhone, right? Because you've got to get the whole uh, you know, spit and polish shine right. that Apple needs. And audio is, you know, it's very immersive. It adds to everything, especially in a game, right? Like, it creates the whole environment around you, and you can, you know, so you can hear footsteps or game pieces moving or, you know, anything like that. Or the, the bowling ball hitting right. the <laughs> right. I love that one. Yeah, so, so you know, and, and that would be uh, not a great app, you know, if there were no sounds right. on that, right? Like, it would just be boring, pretty much. So, um, and it's... Until pretty recently, there hasn't really been uh, a lot of Cocoa wrappers around Core Audio. Uh, so I think a lot of these new people that are coming to the platform kind of just uh, put it on the back burner or shy away from it unless they really need it because, uh, you know, at first glance, it's kind of overwhelming when you see it all. One more thing to learn that is difficult. Right, yeah. Um, so, so yeah, so I'm basically here doing the book, doing the conference. Um, you know, ensuring people that it's okay, that... You don't need to <laughs> Right, <afraid>. yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't be afraid of sound. <laughs> um, well, on that note, we're actually going to come back um, and talk about how to allay that fear in our next episode. Thanks for podcasting with us. Remember to visit the On Mac Dev Resource Center where you can access recommended reading, special offers, and more at informit.com slash macdevcenter. Be sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single episode. Brought to you by InformIT, the trusted technology learning source.